Some community organizers are working to fill the old Kroger on Pianoa Avenue in Macon. Ashton Webb spoke to the people who are working with two companies to seal the deal. Since the Kroger left a couple years ago, this side of town has been known as a food desert. That's because the only places to shop for food nearby are discount shops and convenience stores. Now a group in the community is teaming up, hoping to fix that. Right now, weeds are knee high where the grocery store once operated. Windows are covered with plywood and the property is locked off from the public. But some community organizers like Arion Smith and George Crawley have big plans for the space. Uh, fresh foods, fresh cuts meat, possibly um, maybe a florist shop, florist shop inside. The fact that we did not have a grocery here and we had a grocery store here, we were at, at a net loss. At the end of last year, a developer recommended turning the space into climate controlled storage units. So actually putting a um, storage unit is sort of a snap in the face to the community. So a large group of the neighborhood showed up for that planning and zoning meeting, speaking up about the area's food insecurities. As we found out more about it, our, we spoke to our buyer and realized that, you know, in order for us to get the variance and in order for the community to kind of get what they need in the area regarding the food, we were going to have to try and put a grocery in that location of some sort. So Active, the company that currently owns the building, and Exello, the group wanting to develop it, has recently inked a compromise with community leaders like Smith and Crawley. Part of the agreement is that no less than 15,000 square feet of the building will be for a grocery store. The other part of the building will be for the storage units. Active says they also plan to make a community investment of $55,000 to alleviate the food desert problem. We bring back hope first, also food, and then commerce in our community. Those are three different things that our community lack as a whole. Smith and Crawley hope that if the deal goes through, it'll fill the lack of jobs and empty commercial space. Um, the fact that we don't have any jobs, that we, with us losing all of our commercial development in the west side area, it's caused a huge not only a gulf and commercial blight, but we also have a huge issue with our children, our young adults and teens who cannot find work. Now, Macon Bibb County Planning and Zoning hasn't approved the plan just yet, but is expected to be on the agenda by the end of the month. In Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 32 WMAZ News. Smith says now that businesses and community group is on standby, waiting for the plan to go before planning and zoning. If approved, the two companies will have to close on the property before they make a deal with a grocer to move in.